last spot I saw in school was the one looking back at me at the mirror. My God! But I looked in that mirror and I said, I am Cheryl Lee Ralph, and I am going to do really, really good in this school because they gave a test and I'm the only one that passed it. <laughs> so you see, when I went through those doors, the whole race was coming with me. I just left Dallas, Houston, Texas, where I was um, part of a, a celebration of DIVA, an acronym an equal opportunity acronym. So men, you can be divinely inspired, victoriously alive as well. Now I'm putting these on, not because I need them, but because I look good in them. <laughs> Diva, divinely inspired, victoriously alive. And they created, based upon my book, Redefining Diva, a program for young people and young at heart people. All the young at heart people, raise your hands. There you go. And these young people came up and they met me and they all came with their medal. And it said Diva on it. And they all said, I am Diva. I am Diva, Miss Ralph. And I was like, oh my God. And I said, well, what, what was it that really struck you? And one of them said, it was about that chapter on mentorship. And you know, you write and then you forget. So I picked up the book, because they gave it to me. They earmarked it with all the things that they liked. And I'm going to read some of what they really liked. And they said, when I wrote, I have been blessed with the support and mentorship of some of the most wonderful and giving people God ever created. Some of these people found me, but others I sought out on my own. See, you never know when a divinely inspired, victoriously awesome mentor will come into your life. So keep your eyes open for their arrival. When I was 13, I met Susan Taylor. One summer, vacation in Jamaica. My mother's design salon kept me in contact with the who's who's of visitors on the island. My mom's friend, Pat Ramsey, and her brilliant photographer husband knew a young, vibrant model. I remember the first time I saw her, her bald head, big eyes, and huge hoop earrings. And I was smitten as any little girl would be when she comes face to face with a beautiful big girl. There is an iconic picture of Susan Taylor taken by Mr. Ramsey in which she is looking over her shoulder. And in my young mind, I imagined her looking right at me saying, you coming? I have followed Susan Taylor to some degree my whole career, emulating her grace and kindness. At the age of 15, during another summer in Jamaica, I met Rosalind Roz Cash, who I knew to be a great actress. Roz took me under her wing and encouraged my dreams. Originally from New Jersey, she sometimes visited me at Rutgers University, always causing a, store, a stir with some new handsome companion and a green Mercedes. She encouraged my education in school and on stage. She helped me secure an audition for a well-respected acting company and their program, and she was so proud of my acceptance. She opened her home to me when I needed a place to stay in Los Angeles. Roz remained supportive up until her untimely death of cancer. I met Virginia Capers at the age of 19 when I was chosen as one of the top 10 college women in America by Glamour Magazine. With that award, I joined an elite group of women which included Martha, yes, she went to jail, Stewart. <laughs> the greatest gift was that I was given the opportunity to meet a woman of influence in my field. I chose Tony Award winner for Raisin in the Sun, Aunt Virginia Capers. 
who immediately embraced me like her own child. She helped me set goals and deadlines in my career and encouraged me as I crossed every finish line. She sat front and center when I performed in community set theater and was there for the premieres of my first film, A Piece of the Action, and my Broadway debut, Dreamgirls. She was proud as any mother mentor when I was nominated for the Tony Award and told me that she was not surprised. Aunt Virginia made sure that my first apartment was suitable by finding it for me. She always shared her showbiz war stories with me and always encouraged me to take the higher road because according to her, the same a -S, s you kick today, you may have to kiss tomorrow. 